John Deere 290G. Uh, this machine, we actually didn't have to clean it. We just pulled the uh, previous owner's decals off of it. Uh, the previous owner kept the machine really, really clean. Uh, as you can tell, like there's a cover on the seat. Uh, I mean, inside the compartments, as I'll show you, it's really, really nice and clean. And like I said, all we did was pull the decals off. Uh, yeah, really, really clean machine. So this machine's got 6,000 hours on it. Uh, it's got a thumb, as you can see, a quick coupler, and then auxiliary hydraulics. Now it does look, and I'll get up closer to it in a second, it does look like it's got a case drain. It, maybe there was a mulcher or something rain on it before. Uh, there is a valve on the back side of the boom. I'll show you a picture of that. Uh, but just overall, the machine, I would say I'd rate this, uh, shoot, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, uh, you know, appearance and everything. And then I haven't ran it too much, uh, but it runs uh, as it looks. It runs pretty darn good. So uh, let's start the walk around. Start with the bucket, work route bucket. It's got the wide spade teeth on the front uh, with the two outside teeth being penetration style. Uh, tag hydraulic stick mounted thumb, auxiliary hydraulics. Now you can see the, the little line right there. I believe that's a case drain line. Uh, Drummond's, a Drummond, uh, quick coupler. It's a work route bucket. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. You can see stick cylinder, not leaking, looks good. Uh, this machine does have auto greaser on it, believe it or not. So it's got a Lincoln Auto Greaser on it. Thumb looks good. I don't see any cracks on the thumb. Doesn't look distorted or bent. Thumb cylinder looks good. Look at the welds. I don't see any. I don't see anything bad done to the stick or welds or cracks or anything. See, you run down the stick, you can see there's not uh, a lot of damage to the boom from the thumb striking it. Uh, stick cylinders, they look pretty good. It doesn't appear like the, the head packs are seeping. Uh, just looking down the boom, you don't see it hit the bottom there. The machine itself, like I said, is it's pretty darn clean. I'll get back to the uh, upper car body here in a second. Sorry, out the quick coupler uh, undercarriage. Sorry. Stretched out a little bit there. Like I said, about 6,000 hours. Open it up. You can see there, that was the previous uh, John Deere dealer's decal. There's a little fading right there, but. Uh, I don't want to say that's been waxed recently. It feels like it. Mirrors attack. You can see the previous customer decal. There is a little sticky residue right there. Uh, it would clean up pretty nice for somebody. There's a small dent right there. The bumper looks straight otherwise. Big the counterweight. Counterweight's not all scratched up. You can see uh, there is some fading from where the previous customer the decals were on there. Uh, looks pretty good. You got on this side of the car body. Looks good. The bumper. I don't see any dents or dings in it. Here's the pad. Like I said, you see some fading where the decals were at one time. Some sticker residue. Uh, Powder control changer. Lincoln Auto Greaser. Auto Greaser. Like I said, this was brought into us like this, uh, so the customer really cared for this machine. Let's see if I can get this.
up here real quick. Like it is pretty cold this morning. Uh, it's probably 25 degrees.